hello guys good morning good afternoon good evening depending on when you're watching this video so tinubu is not yet sworn in and he's already passing orders to television operations to tell the people what to do and what not to do this is really sad tinubu writes to mbc to caution tv stations that grant interviews to peter obi so peter obi cannot do free interviews anymore because um oga has won or Oga is now president elect see eh, nigerians people don't even know what you have you have gotten yourself into like this man is not yet remember this man picked muslim muslim tickets that is not enough the the boko haram has sent a threat to christians that they are going to disturb the christian gathering that one is not enough this man has sat down and started passing orders to mbc that they, they should caution the tele the dice which that is why if you call on this the radio stations you hear them say no 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 don't say this don't say that people can no longer speak their minds because of this wicked and unreasonable man if you are truly the winner of this election this matter is clear now if you are the winner of the election allow everything to be free and fair don't try to you know cut corners and make things look as though the people who are talking are, don't have sense if election is free and fair i'm telling you the truth people will celebrate you i remember when buari won the first time we celebrated we were happy because we thought that buari would do differently but we didn't know that hey, what we, what was coming was going to be worse do you understand so guys look at this matter critically a man who is not yet Buari direct do you know what it means to direct it means that you're already the president you have already been sworn you know you are just a president elect and tinibu direct you direct meaning that you are giving orders you are passing out orders to mbc so that uh, people will be cautioned at the questions they ask at the kind of replies he's giving now he's saying that it's because um tinibu or buari uh what's that his name uh tinibu is trying to ensure that and uh, that there's no war there's no problem in nigeria that is why he's saying that the mbc the uh, mbc should caution uh, te television operators ah ah tinibu stop this life you failed this election you didn't make it you are trying to cut corners and you're trying to also shut people up this is the same thing that happened in the time of abiola abiola won this election they tried to they arrested him and locked him up and the wife tried to come out to speak so that they can release the husband and that was how they killed this woman they killed Kidura Tabiola. and this is the same thing that is about to happen again in this case now obi is speaking his truth my own is that god should protect peter obi and keep him alive so that he'll be able to fight and collect back his mandate we cannot be we cannot be um, we, we cannot be how i put it we cannot be deprived of speaking the truth no we'll speak the truth to power you are not yet into power you don't even know the next minute i remember in kogi state a man has won election as the governorship uh, governor elect of the election and he slept and did not wake up the next day so oga how are you sure that you're going to be sworn in may how are you sure you're going to be sworn in in may you are not yet sworn in and you're already you know causing unnecessary nuisance please concentrate on your health sir i don't like this you people have you know made nigeria to look to, to become a laughing stock look at the way uh, children are writing letters look at the way children are saying things one guy one boy was interviewed that what do you want to become he said he wants to become an INEC chairman in future they said why he mentioned one big money that so that he can collect that money are you seeing meaning that once you, have, you become an INEC chairman you're automatically a rich man is it supposed to be like that an INEC chairman is not supposed to be where the box stops look at what happened in lagos election yesterday on saturday rather everything was really really upside down people were being beaten up ballot boxes snatched people you know talks were bullying people insulting people you know beating up people a man came to vote and he took out his phone to call the wife so that she he can she missed her way because they had they reshuffled their pulling unit okay now and they said they, they cannot take calls why what are talks doing in different pulling units are they not supposed to the talks are they not supposed to be in their own pulling units voting so you you you, you use togri to bring in people into power and then their children are abroad schooling they lot the funny thing is that most of these men you are fighting for their children do not fight for them because their children know that their parents have the money to buy you who is the youth who is suffering who cannot even uh, afford the square that's three square meals who, who your mother is in the village suffering all you do is to do togri work 
you do agbero work as they call it in the nigerian palace so it's very very funny how people you rig people into power to remain in power your parents are in abject poverty you cannot afford a meal in your family and then by the time they give you all these things you go back into the same thing after four years and that is why you cannot be bold to demand for accountability in government that is because you have used they have used you and dumped you they have used you and dumped you because and you can't even they can't even pick your calls it's only during campaigns they pick your calls and they'll talk to you and make you feel important so that you can canvas for votes for them and do all what not for them but at the end of the day once they have gotten what they want they will not pick your calls their children are not fighting for them their children are taken abroad until after election their wives have been taken abroad until after election it's only credible candidates like Peter Obi who goes about with his wife trying to canvas for votes trying to ensure that everything works for Nigeria and then I went to the market the other day and i said it in one of my videos that a, a guy met me he's a house guy he said see you that they're going to give peter obi minister of petroleum i told him no peter obi will not take it peter obi is not looking for money to eat peter obi is not looking for money to build a house peter obi is not looking for money to buy a car peter obi is not looking for money to send his children to school so peter obi is content peter obi just wants things to change in nigeria so that people just the few will not they keep having and amassing the wealth of nigeria nigeria is a blessed country nigeria is blessed and that is why when they see that they do not have anything to use and campaign. They use um, tribalism, ethnicity to push their narrative so that people, the youth will fight amongst themselves. This is the thing I'm trying to say, that we should stop it. Stop fighting amongst yourself. These politicians do not care about you. They do not care about your well-being. They care about their own children. They care about their stomach. And that is why whenever they come, they bring food. And now, have you noticed that they, they are no longer uh, bringing uh, rappers, giving people rappers and uh, giving people food. They are no longer doing it like that. They have gone a notch higher. They are, why? Why haven't they empowered you all these years? Why have they empowered you all these years? The only way to, when it's campaign period, to empower you. And you call that empowerment. Just so that they can use that to buy your vote. You see a lot of people rigging for people to be in power. What about you? Are you too small to become a governor or a House of Assembly member? Or a senator? Are you too small? A lot of all these men you saw, they are seen still in government. They started becoming what um, holding political office from when they were 25, some 28, some 30. And you, you are there, you are in your th you are 35, you are in your 40s. And you cannot say, okay, you can't even stand as a counsellor. Because all your life you have become a thug, helping people to snap ballot boxes and killing people just because you want to make a man in power. Meanwhile, their children are kept outside the country, going to the best of schools. Who are we deceiving? They cannot fix your hospitals. Your presidents will travel out of the country to get medical attention and you think that these people love you. They do not love you. Look at how children die because there is no hospital bed for them to be taken care of. This is really sad. Thank you guys for watching my video. Please like, share, subscribe to our channel. And I will see you guys in our next one. This is all they have said. That Tinibu uh, said they should not, you know, take obese interview anymore. Thank you guys for watching. See you in our next one. Bye.